Hey guys, welcome back to the DC Show. In this video, we're going to discuss the Super Mario Brothers movie. Are the citizens of the Mushroom Kingdom all cannibals? Stick, Stick around. around. Alright guys, so the Super Mario Brothers movie opened last weekend and it pretty much made all the money. Yeah, it was a huge hit as expected. I mean, Nintendo's been around for a 35 40 years now i don't know that mario is a staple of the video game community so mm -hmm. to redoing a movie like the even though it's i don't know it's beloved by many at least i love that movie with uh, john leguizamo <laughs> it's, it's so weird and creepy but yeah it's a classic from mm -hmm. my childhood so the fact that they're doing a animated version is expected to do so well yeah i mean i think it's uh the biggest like hurdle they had to get over and nintendo is like should we make another movie because that movie made i think like eight million dollars or something like that the original movie it did not do well yeah um it, it bombed cult classic bombed pretty bad it's a cult classic because of how bad it is i think um and maybe you know memory from our childhood so we sure or you like it i don't even know if i like it because i watched it one time years ago and it was not what i expected i think so maybe that's why i didn't like it as much it's as you do really weird. but uh but yeah i mean this movie man the animated movie um Made by Illumination, which has done so many classics. Mm -hmm. but Despicable Me, Minions, Secret Life of Pets, so much stuff. Yeah, so it had a, a five-day opening weekend because they they bumped it up two days early, open on a Wednesday. And it made nearly $400 million worldwide. I think it ended up around like 377 and something like that, uh, which is insane. Yeah, I watched it today um, with my son. We watched it in 40X, which I had not watched a 40X movie before. I knew about them, but I just hadn't experienced it, and it was it was pretty cool. The only thing I really didn't like with the 40X is sometimes the movements were a little bit too jerky, and mm -hmm. they had an option where you could turn off the water, which really wasn't a whole lot of water. I wish there was an option to like turn down or off the amount of movement. Oh, really? You can't adjust that at all? Can't turn it down at all? Not to my knowledge, no. Okay. There's only one button on the little seat, and it was about turning off water, Gotcha. Um, which there was only a little bit of mist sprayed. But overall, it was pretty cool. It's almost like you're on a little roller coaster because it's moving around along with the scene. Then you got the 3D glasses on. So if you're you're sensitive to movements like that and you get sick, car sick or anything like that, I probably wouldn't recommend the 40X for you. But overall, uh, I enjoyed the movie very much. And my son said it was one of the best movies he ever saw. I mean, he's six and a half but and he loves mario so i think that definitely played a role into it but yeah i mean it, it walked that line right like good for the kids but still nostalgic enough for the adults those of us who played the game series from back in the 80s you know and um did a really good job of it not a lot of storylines the movie right i mean it's That's too much pretty much for the most part kind no of slight spoilers in case you haven't seen it but there's not a whole lot to spoil yeah yeah i mean i could i could avoid talking about the plot if you prefer but i mean it's really not much too i mean if you haven't seen it, there you may be spoiled, so turn it off now if you're worried about it. Yeah, I mean, Bowser captures the star, right? And he's going to go use it um, to take over Mushroom Kingdom, essentially. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm not going to... This is maybe another subplot that I'll avoid talking about if yeah. we're avoiding spoilers, but, um, you know, it's pretty much it. You know, and Mario and the princess have to stop him. Yeah, and... Yeah. That's, I mean, but I mean, that's the game series, right? Like uh, Bowser captures the princess, the captures the princess and Mario has to save the princess. Yeah, so. essentially. But it's kind of cool because it's it's world building. It's the first movie of potentially sequels and spinoffs and oh, yeah. not for the Nintendo franchise. Um, so, yeah, they do have to introduce the characters and how they find the Mushroom Kingdom and how they, you know, get down there and everything because they're, they're humans. They're in Brooklyn. They're in the real world so to speak yeah. and they get sucked down through the green pipe and yeah i have no doubt there'll be if nothing else at least a sequel uh to the super mario brothers uh movie now will that branch into a whole like nintendo uh you know multiversal you know uh franchise i don't know maybe yeah like you you were telling me earlier like how you think legend of zelda would be huge i think a donkey kong movie itself would probably be pretty big Maybe not as big as Mario, but pretty big in general. Um, yeah. Could do a separate Luigi's Mansion type movie. Yeah. yeah. They do Metroid. Yeah. Any movie that still involves the Super Mario Brothers, I think, will be your best bet for making money. That doesn't necessarily mean they wouldn't be good movies and, and still be successful. Um, I do think the best option for them to make a, a money-making movie would be the Zelda franchise. I think that's the only other one out of all their properties 
that has as much of a following, especially with the brand new, um, you know, Breath of the Wild or Tears of the Kingdom yeah. coming out um, in a month, actually, I think a month from today, roughly. Yeah. Um, well, from today when we're filming this, I'm not sure when this is going to go live, but uh, that's right around the corner. So that's going to help, you know, push the franchise as well. I would love to see a Metroid game. Um, the character of Samus and those Metroid games are pretty awesome. I, I grew up playing those. I just don't think it would make as much money. Probably not, but I think it ultimately, if they're leading up to something like a, a Super Smash Brothers type of movie, like building all these little worlds and then they collide into a big battle movie, that'd be kind of cool. Yeah, that's know. what Gemma was talking about. He really wants to see a Super Smash Brothers movie. My argument to that is like, what is the storyline there? Like, is there a storyline to Super Smash Brothers? I mean, well, pretty much a fight. They're going to be doing something like that with the uh, Marvel and Secret Wars. They're going to have them all battling each other. That's true. So, I mean, that's true. I'm sure they could figure something out. Yeah. There's not much of a storyline to this one, so what's the difference, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so me, if they do make a Zelda movie or a Metro movie, those are two that I would really prefer to see in live action. So I wouldn't they wouldn't fit into a like culmination of like a Smash Brothers thing afterwards, but I just think that if they did like a Zelda game or a Zelda movie rather, mm -hmm. that was filmed like a Lord of the Rings or something, um, it could be really good. That'd be pretty cool. I mean, I think the technology is there for special effects. You have these companies that have done some amazing like makeup and costume work with uh, Lord of the Rings. It'd be pretty awesome. Yeah. So, um, same with Metroid. I think special effects wise, especially because that would be a lot more special effects heavy. I think there's so many good sci-fi movies out there now with the technology we have. It'd be pretty cool. Yeah, I saw the the Brie Larson like Boss Logic poster that he designed with her as Samus. So yeah, she's I think been like pushing for that role. Um, it's been a while now since that came up first. I think, but. Still, man. I mean, I mean, well, you know, people uh, don't care Academy for her as Captain Marvel, but she's a great actress overall, and you know, she's very fun. I think she could do, pull it off easy. Yeah. So. Yeah, I, I think um, I didn't like her that much in the original Captain Marvel. It was just it wasn't her though. It was the writing. The movie wasn't my favorite. It wasn't bad. Sure. You know, especially when you compare it to some of the more recent. Uh, MC movies we've gotten it's making it look pretty good yeah but um we're getting off tr off track here let's get back to super mario brothers so the first thing i noticed when we got to the theater i took my whole family mm -hmm. we got there a little later than i would have liked we usually like to get there 30 minutes early or so get snacks and stuff get situated got there about 15 minutes early we barely made it into the theater in time because the theater was packed oh, wow. there were so many people in the concession lines just in the lobby that was the busiest I've seen uh, that theater since before the pandemic. That's cool. Yeah, it's a good sign, man. We got a lot of really good movies right now coming out. Um, more coming out later this year. Yeah. A ton of announcements for the future, some of which we'll talk about later in a future video. But um, yeah, just really getting busy at the theater, and it's it's awesome. Yeah, yeah. I didn't have that same experience today. I'm watching it on a Thursday afternoon. Yeah, but... we went on a Saturday, so I mean, that <laughs> a Saturday, like I think yeah. our showing was two p.m. So like you know, it's I get it, prime family time. But still, we've done that with the family for other movies yeah. that weren't not nearly as packed. So for sure, yeah. Um, not to spoil too much, but I definitely liked the fact that there was a lot of uh, like Easter egg type stuff for people mm -hmm. that played the games, like. They mix a bunch of different things from a lot of the different games yep. as well. Like they had stuff like from Luigi's Mansion as far as Luigi being scared and like kind of in this creepy area. They had uh, stuff with uh, Mario Kart essentially with them on the cart and the Rainbow yeah, Road. Good, good of Mario cool Kart stuff. types of, yeah, for sure. Yeah, I don't know. And just even them running around Brooklyn look like from a side angle, look like them running yeah. through their game, yeah. you know? Yeah, watching some of the, uh, the cart scenes maybe you want to go home and actually play some Mario Kart. I haven't played that in a while, but... Yeah, and it was kind of cool just seeing them like going through as they're trying to find the, you know, Donkey Kong and to get help. They're uh, going through a lot of different lands and stuff and mm -hmm. worlds that look, you know, f familiar to people yeah. that played the game. So that, yeah. uh, that was enjoyable. Yeah, overall, my whole family enjoyed the movie. I mean, I have kids ranging from nine to twenty-two, <laughs> and all four of the boys enjoyed it. My wife enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. Yes. Um, you know, I think uh, my wife really enjoyed the. Uh, the crazy or the uh, Luna that they're called. I think so. The little, 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 little blue star, star that's that's gone crazy. Um, been trapped in Bowser's cage for yeah. a long time. Was to say that our our only hope is the sweet release of death. Yeah, it's pretty funny. Yeah. Anyways, <laughs> but yeah. Um, overall, though, I, I highly recommend it. It's a fun family movie. Um, the kids are going to enjoy it. Adults will enjoy it. Great animation. Great studio that made it. So yeah, I I like the way they addressed the voice. Things that so many people were upset um 
you know, about yeah. Chris Pratt voicing him, not being Italian or having that, that accent. Um, I don't want to really talk about specifically what they do, but it does get addressed. And, and it's cool that they have yeah. the original actor, the original voice actor for Mario in the movie, too. I actually didn't know that. Yeah, I forgot his name. Something Mary was was he the one playing the like the uncle or something like the game or whatever in the beginning? I don't remember specifically, maybe, but he he's the one that was like, he was like, was he, he wearing overalls, too? Probably. He was talking yeah. about how the, the accent was good, pr pretty good or whatever. Okay. I don't know. All right, guys, let us know if you got a chance to go check out the Super Mario Brothers movie. And if you did, did you enjoy it? Be sure to check out our website, like and subscribe and have, have a, a super, super marvelous, marvelous day. day. All right, guys, let us know if you got a chance to check out the Super Mario Brothers movie. And if you did, how did you like it? Be, be uh, blah, 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 blah. That too. <laughs> let us know about that. All right, guys, let us know if you got a chance to go check out the Super Mario Brothers movie. And if you did, did you enjoy it? Be sure to check out our website, like and subscribe. Have and a have super, super marvelous, marvelous day. day. Not bad. Not horrible, but like I think we could we can try it again. Yeah. So let's just do that part right now. Okay. One, two, three. Have, Have a, a super marvelous day. day. That's better. Sure. Okay. We'll record that. You want to do the whole thing one more time? Sure. Or, why not? Okay. We'll figure it. We good. Yeah. Sure. All right. We're gonna wrap this guy up. Or the the video. Yoshi. Whoa. Oh, that's an earthquake. Dexter likes my Yoshi impression. Nice. Make sure the magic mouse, the magic, I was going to say the magic mic. Make sure the magic mic is uh, not showing. This magic mic? No. This little black mic? No, not that one. All right, man. So here we are, dude. Where are we? It was a bit a month. It's been a while. Pretty sure we couldn't record two weeks ago for some reason. I was sick or something. Something like that. I don't know, I don't know man. It's been hectic. Life's been crazy. <laughs> yep. Now you're sick. Great. Yep. You just got me sick. All right, doesn't stop filming. No. <laughs> Shut it down. It's a good cleaning crew in here. Yeah. Get the masks out. I don't have my mask on me right now. Oh, I do. Hold on. Oh, I, I do. Oh, oh, nice. Hold on. Special. Special mask. Wow. I forgot I had this. All right. Now we can record. Are you ready? Okay. Nope. <laughs> I'm trying out for the new Mortal Kombat movie. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, Mortal Kombat. I don't know who I am. I'm like you're, that. You're Koro, <laughs> not Goro. Oh man, do I have multiple extra limbs? Yeah, We're do. not gonna talk about that. <laughs> yeah, you do. Said limbs. Is that the same as appendages? Sure. <laughs> Maybe we should say it in an accent. <laughs> it's us, <laughs> the DC show. <laughs> Cancelled. <laughs> hey, hey. Guys, welcome back to the DC show. <laughs> I'm mostly Italian. Like when you compare when you compare all the parts of me, I'm like roughly a quarter Italian. That's the biggest chunk. Roughly. I haven't gotten my uh DNA stuff done. Even though Jeff bought that thing for me like 2019 and sitting on my dresser. I didn't send it in because of COVID, because COVID happened like right after, and then I was like, do they want me sending in my my possible COVID germs to test, you know, and I just didn't do it. I don't know sure if those kits even stay good. I don't know. I'll have to look at it. I'm sure it's fine. I don't know. Anyways. Yeah, right. Listen. <laughs> listen. Now listen to us. They're like, let's go to the lava. Mm -hmm. It's all boo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Hey, guys. Welcome back to the DC show. In today's video. What? It's supposed to be my part, dude. Oh, sorry. I don't know. I'm just going into it. All right. Hey guys, welcome back to the DC show. In this video, we're going to discuss. Hey guys, welcome back to the DC show. In this video, we're going to discuss, 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 we're gonna discuss, discuss. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to the DC show. In this video, we're going to discuss the Super Mario Brothers movie. Is the princess really in another castle? Stick, Stick around. around. She's not. No, there's only one castle. Well, there's two. She's in both castles at some point. What did they? What did Toad cook for them? Just like, beat him with the pan and said, "Cook something." Dude, he's like, "Whatever you want." He's just like pulling ingredients out of nowhere. Was it nowhere? Stick. <laughs> Where did Toad pull his ingredients from? <laughs> Does Toad really have a secret pocket? 
full of any ingredient. Ooh. Stick her hand. <laughs> Was she? A different princess. A different princess. Well, yeah. Where's Princess Daisy? What's up with that? Daisy's way cooler than Peach, Princess Peach. Well, probably the sequel. We'll get her and Yoshi and. Whoa, spoiler alert, there's a sequel? I'm assuming there'll be a sequel. The movie only made like almost 400 million opening weekend worldwide, so yeah, I'm pretty sure there's gonna be a sequel. Tell you. Does Jack Black really like Peaches? I bet he does. Ow! Peaches, 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 you! What about his new role as a Sark Cat Superman? Yeah, that was that was pretty good. Like the boots. Oh yeah, I like his cape, like flapping like crazy, just flying. His dad. Faster, dad, faster! In a safari outfit. I think might, might be. I might don't be know. Funny. I don't. I mean, Toad's probably chopping up, cooking up some mushrooms that he pulls out of his secret pocket. Yeah, and Mario loves mushrooms, as we know. Yeah, I watched the menu today, by the way. Yeah, I did. I watched it the other day. Huh. That was. Uh, yeah, I enjoyed it. Yeah. Yeah. Very, very similar to Super Mario Brothers. I'm just talking about food and cooking, because mm -hmm. Toad, he's like a master chef. He could have been a sous chef in that kitchen. He said he can make anything. He's like, I can make anything. What do you want? He's just pulling ingredients out of his secret pocket. <laughs> to be, yeah, behind him. Behind him. So, right. 